So nice, find a nice tall seat. And if you're in the chair, you're just gonna sit back into your chair and feet are gonna press into the ground. And then take a few sighs. Let it go. This class tonight, yoga for grief, yoga for grieving. Uh, the quote that I chose to describe this class today was, the only way through grief is to grieve. And one of those things that we often say to people or is said to us when we're in those moments of loss or change in our life, is they will say, my thoughts and prayers go out to you. Tonight, I want your thoughts and prayers just to be for yourself. I want you to create this space where you are allowed to have your feelings. There are no rules with grieving. It can come at you 30 years later. It can feel physical. It can feel emotional. It can make you someone different for a little while. And I want you to give yourself space to do that tonight. I want you just to allow the feelings to come in so that you can feel it and heal it and let it go. When we have a loss, whether it's the loss of a loved one or the loss of a lifestyle as we've all experienced in the last little while, when we allow that time for grieving, when we allow that time to honor what has passed or who has passed, then we get to start to step into a new reality, into this new life without that person or that lifestyle or whatever it is. And we get to decide what we want it to look like. We get to really create this whole new world that we might not have imagined had that loss not happened. And so just give your time, yourself time to really honor whatever it is you're going through and feel, feel the presence of love all around you. Just drop your chin to your chest and pull your hands to your heart. So we're gonna be using this pressing in feeling uh, quite a bit. So my hands just kind of automatically went into butterfly hands where you can just press in. And I want you to feel pressure, physical pressure here tonight into the sternum. This releases oxytocin, which is um, the so-called love hormone. This place where we're sending this love literally straight into our own heart to create that space for healing. Grieving is definitely a healing process. And so maybe even use your fingertips if that helps you get better contact or press your palms right there into your physical sternum, <clears throat> that place right in the middle of where your ribs meet. And drop your chin to your chest, relax your shoulders and start to engage diaphragmatic breathing, breathing into the belly, breathing into the bottom of the lungs, that's where the diaphragm lives, and putting that physical pressure into the sternum as you exhale. Eyes closed and jaw soft, continue with diaphragmatic breathing. We're bringing the body into this place of rest and digest, where we're engaging that uh, <clears throat> slower, more healing place to be instead of go, go, go. Inhaling slowly. And you might even start to feel this spread of warmth where your hands are pressing into the heart. And really turn this inward. This is a place where you're holding yourself safe and where you're, you're allowing whatever it is to come up. And slow, deep inhales, concentrating on expanding. And exhales, just rely, arriving in this moment.
And we'll stay here for a few more breaths. Start to elongate that exhale, continually bringing the body into this place of calm peace so that we can listen to our heart. Two more easy breaths. Release pressure from the sternum, release the hands down and slowly stretch your legs out. In the chair, stretch your legs out as well. A little bit of movement. And then bend into your knees and press the soles of the feet into the ground and sit up nice and tall. We're going into a little forward bend here. So uh, have this feeling that the stomach is making contact with the thighs. Even if you're in the chair, you're pressing the stomach toward the thighs, and then you're going to fold forward and bow your head. Now you can rest your arms on your legs. Maybe you rest your head in your hands and the, um, use your elbows on the outside edges of your knees to kind of hold in place. If you're in the chair, you don't have to worry about that step. And I want you to become aware of your breath again in this new position, this really quiet position, almost as though we're giving ourselves this hug. Soften through your face and now deepen your breath again, inhaling slowly. Fill the belly, fill the diaphragm, fill all of the lungs. Exhale fully. And one more, just like that, inhale deeply. And exhale fully. And then I want you to bring your awareness to the back of your heart center. So somewhere a little lower than your shoulder blades right there in the center of the spine, the heart center, not the physical heart, but your loving heart center. And I want you to start to breathe there. And as you inhale, expand. And exhale, soften. And as you inhale, imagine that love is expanding straight out back from your heart center. And as you exhale, feel that love come back toward you. So we're getting into this little rhythm with the breath where you're inhaling and love is pouring out of your heart center, out into the energy around you. And as you exhale, that love is coming back in toward you. And just watch this exchange for a while. We'll take about 10 slow breaths here. Inhale, imagine that your heart center, that your heart is expanding. And exhale, 
heart stays expanded, but that love comes back toward you, replenishing your heart, replenishing your capacity to heal and love. Inhaling, love goes out away from you. And exhale, love comes back in toward you, just repairing into the back of our heart center here. Two more easy breaths, inhaling, sending love out, exhaling, pulling it back in, and one more. And as you're ready, come on back up to sit either up in your chair or in your easy position. Hands go out toward your knees, curl the hands. And a moving meditation here with our breath, this feeling that we are swirling. Um, into our loving capacity here, this effort that we're trying, we're creating this space for ourselves to heal. So we're going to swirl the spine in both directions. So inhale and center. And then just going one way as you exhale, start to blow the air out of the breath, out of the mouth. as though you're trying to blow on a bubble wand or um, make a wish with a dandelion. So you're inhaling back in a soft, long sigh as you blow um, around. And then the inhale happens as you roll back. That cooling, healing breath as you roll forward, slightly pursed lips. And come back to center. Pull your hands to your heart, press into your sternum and tuck your chin in. Feel that pressure. allowing the brain to recognize that there's pressure at the physical heart to the brain. This feels like we're getting a hug. And when we get a hug or when we hold a baby or when we hold a purring cat or a wiggling puppy, our heart releases love hormones and we start to feel physically better. And so let's sit with this process. Three more breaths. Holding space for yourself to feel physically better. One more breath. Release the hands down. If your legs are crossed, you're going to lean back and change the cross of the leg. Maybe take a little straight-legged 
uh, wiggle there. If you're in the chair, you're just gonna go uh, to the second side. Same exercise here, this idea that we're uh, clearing away any obstacles to allowing ourselves to feel what we need to feel here. We often are too busy or we brush it aside and here we're really giving ourselves time to feel. So going the other way, inhale in center. And as you exhale that swirl to the opposite side and blowing gently out of the mouth as though you're trying to blow out maybe even a whole line of, um, of dandelion seeds out into the world or bubbles. Listening to the sound of your breath and feeling soothed by it. Soften your eyes. And a few more. And back to center. Hands press back into the sternum. Tuck your chin. And come back to the breath. Slow, easy inhales. Fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, press into your heart center. And stay with this process. And release the hands down. Stretch the legs out. And give yourself a little movement into the legs. And then coming up into a kneeling position for those of you on the floor, we're gonna come into puppy pose. So puppy pose, you start off in that tabletop and hands go forward and heart melts down to the ground. In the chair, you would come up to stand now. And then you're going to use the chair to help you to find that same position. So my chair is a little higher. So I'm going to use the seat of the chair, but you might even use the back of your chair if it's a regular height. So you're gonna stand um, about two feet away from your chair and reach forward. And I'm gonna walk my feet back until I can drop down a little. And this is where knees can bend quite a bit. And it's a feeling that you're trying to bring your heart down toward the ground for heart melting pose. And in this position, I want you to focus into the sides of your ribs and the sides of your heart center. And now deep inhale and expand and feel love move out from you. And exhale, melt your heart and feel that love come back toward you. 
And if you're a visual person, maybe you give this love a color. The heart chakra is often depicted as green or pink or gold, but any color will do. Inhaling, imagine that you're sending love out into the universe. And exhale, feel that love come back toward you and hold you safe. Three more breaths into the sides of the ribs, really expanding to the sides of the heart center. And remember that exhale, always bringing the love back toward you. Two more. And as you're ready, everyone, come back up. Hands will stay on the chair, hands will stay on the ground. And take a breath. Yes. Yourself back up, find your seated position. Yet again, you can sit on your bolster, your block, or your blankets for that comfort factor, or simply come to sit back down into your chair. I'm going to bring my blanket underneath me this time, and let's actually bring legs out long. So you want to come to this place where the legs are either almost straight or just have a slight bend in the knees, even if you're. Um, in the chair right now. And we're going to fold forward. So if you liked that bent knee version that we did earlier, please come back to that. This can be a very relaxing and quieting place, especially if you have tight hamstrings and you really want comfort here. So otherwise you can stretch out again, lift up tall, and then just as far forward as it feels good, you're going to fold forward, hands to your legs, Hold yourself steady here. If you are resting in a position where you could bring your hands to your head and rest your forehead into your hands, that's always a nice little gesture, a little bit of comfort there. Relax your jaw and come back to that slow, deep breath. One more deep inhale. And exhale. And come on up into your seated position, maybe even coming into rock pose, into that kneeling position. And hands are going to come together. And we're going to start to make a little circles into the palm. So my fingers aren't even touching, but the circle of my palms are, and then I'm just rolling in one direction. And I'm trying to wake up the nerve endings here in the palms of the hands. So our hands are an extension of our heart center. And it's a nice way to really get connected and start to feel a little bit of um, warmth and friction and heat in the form of, you know, love coming out of our hands as we stimulate the nerve endings here. And then start to bring your circles the other way. A little bit vigorous of, of a movement here. 
Eyes can even close. Just feel the hands warming up. Notice how you're breathing and stay with that slow diaphragmatic breathing, belly opens, lungs open. And then right hand will come to your heart, left hand reaches out. And I want you to inhale and twist to the left. Exhale, left hand comes to the heart, right hand reaches out and you twist to the right. So as we come through center here on the inhale, Right hand is going to replace the left hand on the sternum, press in, and inhale to the left. Exhale, left hand comes to the heart as you twist to the right. And then inhale, right hand to the heart as you twist to the left. And you want this pressure into the sternum here. And now come back to that feeling that you're expanding into your heart center. So now we're using our hands here to kind of mark our heart's territory, if you will, this little circle all around us. Just imagine as you inhale, you're sending love out into this circle. And exhale, pull it back toward you. Inhale, send love out into your bubble. And exhale, bring it back toward you. Slow, easy movements, there's no rush. Feeling the pressure of the hands and just focusing in on creating the space to heal and release. And then hands come to your heart. Palms come together. You can come up to stand for this one if your legs are tired of sitting. We're going to make a little bit of an arm movement here with our hands and our breath. So making the traditional shape of a heart so you can give your hands a little bit of um, light here. We're going to inhale and the arms are going to come up. Then you're going to swoop them out, making that invisible heart around you. And then hands come back. And then you draw up. It's kind of a rounded bottom heart here. But this feeling that you're expanding into the space. And what happens when we start to quiet into our heart and expand into our heart? Our heart has time to process our feelings. And so allowing this quieting down and this visualization, you might actually feel this tremendous release of emotion. You might be releasing all of the tears that you've held back, tears of loss, tears of frustration, tears of anger, And you're just allowing the space, this healing space, so that you can have the honor of having loved someone or a way of life so much that you feel the need to shed tears about it, that you feel the need to have a release. So just continually 
giving yourself space here to let the thoughts and memories come in. And then pull your hands to heart center. Press them into the sternum one more time. And bow your head and listen to your breath for a moment. This breath that you can use to help you release. And if you're staying in the chair, you're going to lean back. You're going to find a really nice reclined position. If you're in the chair and can't make it to the floor, maybe you'll go lay on the couch or um, even the bed. And then on the mat, you're going to join me. This is where you might want your blankets for warmth, for comfort. We're going to hold a restorative position. <clears throat> and then we're going to rest in Shavasana. So you can cover up. We're going to come into a bound angle pose, hugging the uh, pillow into our chest. So make sure that you feel nice and comfortable here. Sometimes I like to wrap the blanket around my ankles to kind of hold them still so that they don't open too much. <clears throat> blanket can come under your head. Make sure you're really comfortable here. And then your heavy pillow so even if you're sitting upright in the chair, you're gonna find the pillow and hug it into your chest. And I want you to have that pressure of your physical sternum here. And maybe you're even gonna reach around and, and hug the pillow literally into your chest. Feet are together, knees are apart for bound angle pose, this feeling of open trust and um, hip release. And then coming into as relaxed a position as you can with your spine and shoulders. I want you to focus into the weight that is pressing into the sternum. And then coming into the front of your heart center, we'll breathe here as we've been doing throughout class. From your heart center, as you inhale, love is going out into the universe from your heart. And as you exhale, that love is coming back toward you. And just continue this quiet process of listening to your heart and expanding into your infinite ability to love and to heal.
And three more slow, deep breaths. Inhale, expand your heart. Exhale, draw it back toward you. Inhale, expand. And exhale, feel it come back. One more. Simply stretch out long. If the pillow feels nice to you, I invite you to leave it there. The longer it can rest on your heart, the more your heart will feel hugged and nourished. And through my own grieving process, I have learned that once the grief is manageable, once the grief lessens, once you allow that grief, to move through you and you can move past it. What remains is the joy of memory, the joy of having loved something or someone so much that they stay with us forever, that they touched us forever. And in that way, they're always still with us. And so just breathe here, expanding your love out and feeling that love come back to nourish you. Drop into stillness. And as you're ready, start to deepen your breath. If you're still hugging the pillow, just move it gently out of your way. Very slowly return to your seated position. And pull your hands to your heart, a gesture of gratitude. And we'll end class with a sound of three ohms. 
you can sing along or just listen. And I, again, want you to feel as though love is expanding out from you on the inhale. And then as you chant that word OM, and that word OM goes out from your voice, I actually want you to feel that love of your own voice of this sound of warmth and comfort. I want you to really feel that come back to you. So inhale. Oh. 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 Rub your palms together. Feel that heat and friction one more time. And inhale, stretch your arms up. Hold the breath in. Feel this sense of love and calm just wash over you. And then bring your hands back to your heart. Thank you for taking the time to take care of yourselves today. Namaste.